Hello everyone, welcome to my new lesson video and this time it is under the subject general physics. I will be discussing the concept of thermal expansion. I am your teacher, Mr. Mark Anthony B. Laroya. Let us now define what is thermal expansion. When there is an increase in the material's temperature, its dimensions like length, width, or even the area, and its volume change. This is what we call thermal expansion. Thermal expansion is due to the change in the average interatomic distances of a substance. For example, like solid, the atoms vibrate back and forth held together by bonding forces which we can imagine to be like springs. As the temperature is increased, the atoms become increasingly active and vibrate over greater distances. The solid expands and the vibrations are wider in all dimensions. We have three different types of thermal expansions. We have the linear expansion, wherein this lesson video will more focus on. We have the area expansion, wherein there is a change in the area or the surface area of the material due to change in temperature, and each material has an area expansion coefficient. And then lastly, we have the volume expansion, wherein there is a change in volume of the material due to change in temperature, and materials also have coefficient of volume expansion. So let us now focus on the linear expansion. So when we say linear expansion, when a change occurs in one dimension of a solid, such as change in length or width, thickness, it is called the linear expansion. The formula for linear expansion would be the change in length over the original length is equal to the coefficient or uh, coefficient of linear thermal expansion times the delta T or change in temperature or it is also the same as the change in length or delta L is equal to the alpha the coefficient of linear thermal expansion times the original length times delta T. Delta L is the change in length that is final length minus the original length and then delta t is the change in temperature that is final temperature minus the initial temperature while the alpha is the thermal coefficient of linear expansion for linear expansion we have the formula delta l or the change in length is equal to alpha times the original length times delta t where alpha is the coefficient of linear thermal expansion and delta T is the change in temperature. So we can derive or we can have we can derive the formula for the final length of a material. So let's say our delta L is the same as the final length minus its original length equals to alpha initial length times delta T. So we can transpose the negative LO to the right side of the equation. So we can have the final length would be equal to LO plus alpha LO delta T. So we can see here that LO is common to the two terms, the first and the second term. So we can factor out the LO or the original length. So we can also say that the final length is equal to LO times the quantity 1 plus alpha delta T. So let's say we have this material with a particular length and that is its LO or original length or initial length. When the material changes its temperature or increases its temperature, it will expand. The length will change or increase. And that will be our delta, delta L, the change in length. That is final length minus the initial length. 
So let us now solve a problem involving linear expansion. The aluminum flagpole in front of a school is 20 meter tall at 27 degrees Celsius. How high will the flagpole be on a hot summer when the temperature rises to 35 degrees Celsius? And the coefficient of linear thermal expansion for the aluminum flagpole is equal to 24 times 10 raised to negative 6 per degree Celsius. So that is the alpha or the coefficient of linear thermal expansion for aluminum. The solution for this problem would be, we are looking for the final length of the aluminum flagpole, wherein we have just derived the formula for the final length, that is initial length times the quantity 1 plus alpha delta t. So, substituting the values we have for the initial length, that is 20 meters, times the quantity 1 plus the coefficient of linear thermal expansion for aluminum, that is 24 times 10 raised to negative 6 per degree Celsius, multiplied by the change in temperature, wherein our final temperature is 35 degrees Celsius minus 27 degrees Celsius. And so as you can see here, when we compute for the difference in temperature, the unit degree Celsius will be cancelled because of the unit per degree Celsius in the coefficient of linear thermal expansion of aluminum. So we will just be having the unit of meters for our final length. So solving this, we will arrive at the answer. The final length of our aluminum flagpole will be 20.004 meters. Let's try to solve another problem. Determine the original length of a rod made up of brass if its length after it was exposed to a temperature from 25 degrees Celsius to 68 degrees Celsius was 1.25102 meters. So in this problem, we are asked to get the original length of the material made up of brass. So let us first derive for the solution or let us first derive for the formula of the initial length. Coming from this formula of the final length, that is L equals LO times the quantity 1 plus alpha delta T. To get the formula of our LO, we can divide both sides by this quantity 1 plus alpha delta T. And then we will have now the formula for the initial length or LO that is the final length all over 1 plus alpha delta t. So all we have to do is to simply substitute the values of L, the final length, as well as the delta t. We can solve for the delta t that is simply 68 minus 25 degrees Celsius, while for the coefficient of linear thermal expansion for brass is actually equal to 19 times 10 raised to negative 6 per Celsius degree. So, we will have now this 1.25102 meters all over 1 plus the uh, coefficient of linear thermal expansion for brass times the difference of the temperature 68 minus 25. So we will now have the initial length of the brass or rod made up of brass is equal to 1.25 meters. That is the original or the initial length of the material. Let's have another problem and I promise you that this will be our last problem in this lesson video. Initially, a copper wire has a length of 10 centimeters at 25 degrees Celsius. It was heated up to a particular temperature and it increased its length by 0.00255 centimeters. Determine the final temperature of the copper wire. 
So this problem is very different from the two previous problems that we encountered because this time we are asked to determine the final temperature of the copper wire. So first, let us, put, uh, let us use the formula final length is equal to initial length times the quantity 1 plus alpha delta T. So our target is to uh, get the formula of the final temperature. We can only get the, form, the formula of the final temperature from the delta T. So first, let us divide both sides by LO or the initial length. So we will have final length over initial length will be equal to 1 plus delta or alpha delta T. So we still have a binomial on the right side of our equation and our target is to get the final temperature which is in the formula delta T. So let us first transpose 1 to the left side of the equation. So we will have final length over initial length minus 1 equals alpha delta T. So alpha delta T, we can divide both sides by the coefficient of linear thermal expansion. So we will have L over LO minus 1 all over the alpha is equal to delta T. So we have now the delta T uh, isolated on the right side of the equation. We know that delta T is equal to the final temperature minus the initial temperature. So substituting or we have here on the right side of the equation that is Tf minus To or the initial temperature for us to be able to get the formula of our final temperature, we just simply have to transpose the negative TO or the initial temperature to the right side. So we will now have the formula of our final temperature that is L over LO minus 1 all over alpha plus the initial temperature. So that is the formula now of our final temperature of the copper wire. Now, all we have to do is to simply substitute the values of LO as well as the initial temperature. And by the way, the coefficient of linear thermal expansion for copper wire is actually 17 times 10 raised to negative 6 per degree Celsius. You can look for the values of the coefficient of linear thermal expansions of different materials. There are lots of those values uh, from the internet okay now we have here l which is our final or the final length that is actually 10 centimeters plus the change in length 0 0.00255 so having the formula of our final temperature we have the final length that is 10.00255 over the initial length of 10 centimeters minus 1 all over the alpha or the coefficient of linear thermal expansion of copper, which is 17 times 10 raised to negative 6 per degree Celsius, plus the initial temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. So, what we will be having here is the final answer or the final temperature of the copper wire, which is equal to 40 degrees Celsius. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new in physics and that is all about thermal expansion. What are the different types of thermal expansion? What are the coefficients of thermal expansion? And how to solve problems involving linear expansion. See you again to my next lesson video. Thank you very much. Take care and God bless.